Hello! <laughs> awkward. Welcome back to another episode at Home Croissantery. Today I've got a special guest, Daniel. So he's gonna teach me how to make coffee. He's the um, barista here. Slash meant to other. Slash <laughs> does every single thing that needs to be done. Yeah, Dishwasher, <laughs> order taker, yes. stagiary. Yes, he does everything, so he's gonna teach me how to make coffee. Sick. Talk me through it. Okay, so the goal is quite simple. We basically want to get the good stuff in the beans into our cup of coffee, right? To make something consistently is to follow a recipe. So that's what this here is. These three numbers refer to 21 grams of coffee in, 44 grams of water out of this machine, which we'll get to in a sec and then that's going to happen within 23 seconds. Any cafe that I think cares about their quality of coffee will start by gramming how much coffee they use. To disperse the coffee we do a simple tap to try to get everything even. Home baristas will use a variety of tools which mm -hmm. unfortunately slows us down in a cafe setting but that's good enough. We use the puck press to automatically tamp it. And then in it goes. And now this button is going to automatically dose out 22 grams of water, or 44 grams of water total, 22 into each cup since it has a double spout. Aww. So while that's happening, to speed things up, we can start steaming our milk. And steaming milk is the part that I think a lot of people are have a lot of fun doing because it's the part where you get to draw pretty things. Mm -hmm. Is it your favorite? It is definitely my favorite. Okay. I spent the last like year and a half <laughs> coming in <laughs> on, on my free days going through like 12 liters of milk just to draw things. Holy uh, crap. So it's definitely the most fun part and I think a lot of home baristas enjoy it. So it's quite simple. You align the tip of the spout with the steam wand. You want to submerge this line. You give it a little tilt so that you're in roughly the one third to a quarter side of the cup. Then you crank this thing full, and then you lower it until you hear that kind of like paper ripping sound. Then once that's hot enough, and hot enough is basically too hot for your hand to touch, that's usually in that 60, 65 degree mark. You've got your steamed milk, give it a tap just to groom it, get any extra bubbles out. Give it a little swirl, and then we are ready to pour. So I'm just going to do a basic heart. So incorporating the milk, you start high, go in little circles, maintaining a steady stream. Once you're at the halfway mark to two thirds, spout close to the surface, push, and cut through. And that is the most basic little baby heart, which I struggled to do when I first started. These things always look easy when you see someone else make it, but then when you actually do it, it's like hard. So. Now put it way on the scale, so you're looking for 21 plus or minus 0 0.1, that yeah. dosed it perfectly, which is a barista's dream. Really? Because this part, <laughs> this part takes a bit of time if you don't get it good on the first dose. What happens? You just have to adjust, you have to either add more or yeah. take some away. But how can you add more if that just comes out like so a consistent amount? you can actually put this here and there's a button. Yeah. That lets you manually oh. push it out based on how long you press it for. Yeah, mm. Use that muscle of yours that you've been training Wait, like so hard. No, you tw uh, twist it that way. Ah. Push it, then it'll shoot water out to clean the shower screen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Was that from the last yeah. coffee? Yeah. It basically washes away any residue from the previous cup. Oh, and then I pour this out. And now you have to use your muscles again and knock it against it. It, flip the basket over, it fits perfectly on, then tilt it together. Okay. <laughs> and then give it a little shake to disperse it evenly. And then when you take it off, it should be relatively flat. Oh, Et yeah! Voila. Nice! So now, now you just have to give the top of the puck a couple of harder smacks, just to kind of distribute everything more evenly. 
And if that happens, then you just put it under the puck press. That's also automatic. So the moment you shove it in there, you'll feel the thing go ka-chung, ka-chung. Oh, that's done. Felt it. That's already flat. So it's like tight now. Now it's compacted all of the coffee. So ideally, yeah. there aren't any channels for the water to go through because that will make it more bitter. Oh. But yeah, now you pop it inside and then you twist it this way again and that yeah. locks it in and give it a good push just so it's not yeah. loose. Then you press the middle button, just short press it and then it cups. Oh, which one? Yeah, too small. It's gonna come out and do ah! <laughs> No! <laughs> That's annoying. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No coffee was harmed in this process. <laughs> but now is the fun part. The steaming? This always has two coming out at the same time. On this group head, yes. That means if someone only orders one coffee, there will always be a spare, unless Correct. another customer comes Correct. in. Correct. Oh. So some cafes will do like a double ristretto for yeah. a small one to try to like save, uh, reduce wastage, but for us, we just go single shot. Just a double ristretto. Double ristretto <laughs> is where you basically put one cup under both spouts, so you're getting everything, oh. but you cut this off in roughly half the time. Okay. So it's not, you're not losing liquid, mm. uh, but it does change the flavor profile of the coffee. That's a magic, right? Correct. But three quarters. That is quarters. a magic. Three quarter <laughs> okay, okay. double ristretto flat white. Now okay. I get to see more. Do you want me to hold this close? Uh -huh. It's just this one? Oh. I get to use Daniel's um, To use Daniel's special gifted by Tina. What is this called? Jug. <laughs> yes, jug. Okay, so no fancy term. How much do I pour? Uh, up to the bottom of the spout. You can see where it dips in. Ah, yes. So just go to like a little bit under that, and you're generally okay. okay so like this much. Yeah, let's take a look. Where is the bottom of the spout? Yeah. Yay. Looking good. Wow. Basically, you want to think of aligning. It's easier if you hold it facing you. Yeah. And hold the jug, not not with a sideways grip, but like a front on. It's like it's one line where that line is submerged in the milk. And yeah. then tilt it towards one side, whichever one feels more comfortable. Okay. Until the wand is like at the one third width point. Yes. And then crank the thingy on. Right side? Flip it, twist it the other way, yeah. Pull the jug down. <laughs> Wait, what down? <laughs> Here, let me, let me show you again. Here, take, take, take control of this thing again. Okay. Take one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Center of your body is one line with this. Yeah. Get that line underneath the liquid. Then uh, tilt it to the side a little bit. Yeah. So it's at the roughly one third point of the jug. Mm -hmm. Then you crank this on and you lower the jug down from the wand until you hear uh, the sound and then you're just feeling for temperature, done. Okay. Right? So it's done when it's too hot. Done when it's too hot to touch. Okay. And since I'm here, I might as well try to play this. Guys, Danny, follow Pulai for... Um, Sporadic coffee content. Sporadic. Used to be daily, Used but... Used to be daily, now sporadic. Like, that's a layer heart versus the old... Okay. The one I did before, which was just a solid heart. Yeah. All you do is wiggle while pouring. Okay. Which is hard in the beginning, I couldn't do it. How long did it take you to get that? Oh jeez. I don't remember. Many, many months. Mm. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't make it look pretty for quite a number of months. Probably until like... Late last year. Many months as in doing it once a week, though? Mm. I guess in the beginning, yeah. Before, mm. I, before I was comfortable with coffee, it yeah. was only that Monday. Okay. Take two. Take two. Milk is in. Steam wand okay. is in. Ooh, it's hot. It is hot. Thank that. Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay, that's, the, that's right. the sound you're looking for. Try to get a little bit more in. And you just feel for temperature. 
Ooh, it, that sounds legit. Oh, and we got a customer. Okay, it's so hot. I'm going to step back here. <laughs> hey, all. Uh, Apparently, I'm supposed to knock it against the counter. Is that a Yeah. Oh, my French. Except the baker is Chinese. <laughs> he's uh, serving someone, so. We unfortunately don't know what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> Five minutes later. Okay. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> so, you want this to be facing your belly button? Yeah. Start by pouring the milk high and tilt this at a slight angle. So imagine trying to pour the milk into the deepest part of the cup. Okay. Aim for there and make little circles. What do you mean make little, like... Just like, you actually don't have to make circles, but that helps to incorporate it. Dude. Just pour. Don't stress. Okay. So just keep pouring. Be super close to the surface, so you want to tilt that a bit. Yeah. And then you want to pour hard. Now the problem is the milk has separated in the top. Aww. So that's why everything in here is super frothy, and you just poured all the liquid out. Is because at some point, as you, after you inject air, mm. it's going to separate because of I think it's because of the density. Yeah. Um, and so, what we have left is all froth and then whole milk. I have to get at least a basic heart. And the basic heart is, in my opinion, the hardest thing. Really? The, yeah, the gap between starting and basic heart yeah. is very, very, very big relative to the gap between basic heart and then the next, like the next step of patterns. Uh, okay. It's kind of like, like the, the idea that the basics are the foundation, right? Yeah. So getting the basics down is the hardest part. Mm. Once you have the heart down, the others come relatively easily. But even Ben can make a heart. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done a lot of attempts. Oh, has he? Yeah. Oh, okay. He, I thought he just like, like you through know, last year, through, 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 through last year, he, he poured a lot of times and poured a lot of lobs. Mm. Fuck, I was hoping to get a heart by today. You know what? I, be I believe in you. I don't know if... Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, just point eight. Yeah, oh, nice. add add point one point two or point seven. So now just get it to twenty point nine or twenty one point one. Good enough. Nice. Perfect. So remember, flip the puck upside down on top, then the shake to disperse, and then it should be pretty flat by the time you take it out. Nice. Do I still need to do this if it's already like Generally, this? it's good practice to give it a couple of taps. Because okay. you see how there's a gap on the outside? Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to just like break the chunks up a little bit. Gaps, apparently. And just tap it. <laughs> oh, it's not coming out this time. Enough, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that's good enough. Into the puck press, that'll tamp it, compact everything. Ooh, it feels like a stamp. It feels very, it's very satisfying yeah. when it goes <laughs> Stamping it. If I, if I do this, will it fall? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's just stay up. Hi, Golly, Dairy Queen. Um, <laughs> Dairy Queen, uh, Blizzard. It's my maple sauce. <laughs> Blizzard, yeah. Yeah. Except they go, Woo! <laughs> if they held it for five seconds, I bet you it would fall out. I tried that before, it didn't. Oh. Mine didn't, at least. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's so your, da your Dairy Queen's better than my Dairy Queen. Wait, this is so, wait, will it remain like this, like, forever? I, I, I don't know about forever. Not but forever, like, I mean, like, for the practic next, like, Practically minutes. speaking, it shouldn't come out. Ah. Okay. Oh, you put it up above your head? I know! <laughs> okay. Hey, they say coffee grounds are good for your skin. Oh, true! Um, right? coffee, I, want, I wanted to take some to exfoliate, actually. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, press which one? The middle. Time for me to resume. Daniel on the camera. <laughs> He's too good at this. Okay, so line it up. The, the line goes below the surface of the milk, then tilt it to the side a little bit. 
Then turn the steam one on, and once the air starts going, lower the jug until you hear that sound. Lower it more. I'm not hearing the sound. Where's the sound? Okay, so turn it off, turn it off. So that didn't sound right. That did not sound right. The, the problem with what you're doing yeah. is you had the milk jug angled that way. Oh. You want to keep it... Whoop, whoop. I can't do this while... Yeah. How, do, how do you do this videography stuff? You can, you can, this is um, a hard life. You can like put... Yeah, yeah, so chill out. So it'll be easier. Aha, aha, aha. Yeah. Now I feel like... Weibo. <laughs> you're pretty good at this. You're a natural on camera. I try my best. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's just, just me. Anyhow, um, this milk is probably already a bit hot, so Aww. there's not too much time that you can use to incorporate it. Yeah. But basically, let's see. Can, I will show you the positioning. Okay. So just now, you had this like tilted forward, right? Yeah. You want it to be. Think of keeping the the top, yeah. this top, parallel to the table surface. Oh. So you would have it like that, and then you tilt it to the side. Once you turn it on, you pull this down until you hear the, ah, the okay. sound. And then after like, just say two seconds arbitrarily, mm. once you have two seconds of the sound, back up a little bit, just so you don't hear the sound anymore ah, to let the milk I thought slow. it was like that, no wonder. Yeah, because like the whole point is to get this little whirlpool situation going on. Yeah. And that helps to texture the milk. So what you're doing is, injecting foam in the beginning, injecting air in the beginning, mm. and you break those air bubbles down into super, super small micro foam. And uh, then that's what gives coffee that kind of really silky mouth feel. <laughs> oh, it sounds right now. The sound was right, at least, even though I know we can't use this milk anymore. Yeah. It sounded right. right. Ooh. That, that's... What, is that oversteamed? That's probably oversteamed at this point. So just take, I... take the cloth on top, the one up there, and then just give it a give it a wipe. Beautiful, and then just give it a purge. So just shoot it one more time, and that just ejects any remaining milk that's in the steam one out. That was failure. Let's do an inside scoop of what everyone else is doing. We've got the lemon boobies here. Looks very divine. Let's see, what is it, Mr. Justin, oh, Mr. Benjamin, making the beautiful, beautiful pan Susie's. Your, your pastry cream is so lumpy. Mate, I know. I, it, it wasn't my fault you cooked the eggs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is just because I'm just fucking around. <laughs> and now, look at, look at our mother hard at work. This is a. I will give Ben's answer. It was not supposed to be a family business, <laughs> but somehow we got roped into it. I was. This just supposed to help two or three times a week, and now I'm here six days a week. It's been how long now? A year and a half. <laughs> We, it's like, I thought that maybe max each week I'll be working like, like 15 to 18 hours. I was like, yeah, nah. We're here for 60 to 70 hours a week. Aww, you're doing consulting slash banking hours. Aww. Yeah, we're talking business here. <laughs> Take three, third time's the charm. Let's look at, let's I watch the right. milk. Parallel. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the sound. Oh my god, I go up. Oh yeah. Okay, it okay, looks a bit hot now. now. Done? You could probably have gone a little bit longer. Again? Yeah, a little more heat. You don't need to add more air, just heat and let it swirl. Use your hand to touch to see if it's hot enough. Yeah. If it's hot, guess. turn it off. Yay! Yay! Oh, this one. Yes. Okay. This is called grooming the grooming milk. Grooming the milk. Let's give it a couple okay. smacks. You 
break up some more air bubbles and yeah. a little swirl. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? So I just like before. start high. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother about uh, the cup angle, so just start high and pour. So the milk will incorporate because you're going high and it falls into the bottom. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. Why does it look like a butt? A no, but it's white now. <laughs> it looks way better than the last one. Or it's a pods. It is like a tauzi. It's like a tauzi. It's exactly what a fortune cookie. Exactly. It's what I meant to do. Yes. Oh. And then push. This is fucking lit. Oh my god, it's so clean. It's so satisfying, right? It's so quick. Wow. I think I think I got the. You got the gist. The steaming milk part down. <laughs> Oh yeah, that sounds very good. Oh yeah. Ling Shi Fu. Baozhou Cafe Shi. That is I. That is you. Oh, shoot. I went a bit too quick. Oh, look at that. How do I, like, it doesn't. Yeah. Like, why does it look like that? I, I forgot to tell you the uh, part where you make the heart is once you finish the pattern, to, to once you've poured the main part of the pattern, yeah. you lift it up a bit higher and then cut through. Oh, it's because I didn't lift it up higher? That's what will give it that, like, the, you know, in the heart when it goes choo. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's just kind of like whoop. Yeah. So it's when you lift it up Aww. that the milk then falls through the surface again. Remember the principle? Yeah. High from the surface, won't, no white. Yeah. Low to the surface, white. So once you pull it high, yeah. and then you drag it, it kind of pulls some milk along with it. And that's what gives Aww. it the, the pointy tip. Nice. Also, look at this. Tomoko, hard at work <laughs> while I'm doing absolutely fucking nothing. What do you mean? You're while helping promote while, the cafe. Well, we should be cleaning up. <laughs> be spreading knowledge. Yeah, exactly. No, you're giving me a lesson, which is amazing. You're helping promote the cafe and how clean the coffee machine is. Correct. Right? The I will. Quads, I will say. Three quads. Look at this. We have how a standard. Clean is this? Standards. Yeah, standards. Yeah, don't 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 mind my half my half watch <laughs> shit in here. <laughs> That's okay. This is after a full day of service, and it looks like this. He hasn't even started cleaning yet. So, come get your coffee fix here. Bye. Yours truly, Daniel. You have to make us a really nice design now. The okay. fanciest thing fanciest. you can make. Fanciest? Yes. And then I'll pour the other cup. Pressure's on. A little bit, a little bit, like not curved. It has a bit yeah. of wobble to it. So, yeah. Mango high, right? Lift it up high, and then cut through. See? <gasps> Wait, I got it! It looks yeah. like a heart. Yeah. Time for Daniel's Daniel's number one roll here. It's a baby onion shallot heart. Yay! Okay, let me try. It. Oh, thanks, Tom. Look, she's so supportive. <laughs> Yay! 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 Our coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Why do you look at it like that? See ya. It's hot. What the thing? I know how to make it fancier. Are you gonna start drawing? Oh. Okay, what do you guys usually do? Like a little line? There we go. A little line. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me how to make coffee. I, I appreciate your gift. 
Bizarre. Is it a bot for me? Yes, it's a bot. No, I just want to say a pass. Yes. Exceptional. Exceptional quality. That's all I can say. I'm not talking about the coffee. What are you talking about? Yeah, so next time I come to the cafe, Daniel's gonna have to deal with me asking to make latte art. Alright, see you guys for the next video. Bye!